Hey guys, I thought I'd show you real quick um, the electric motion, a couple of parts that I'm swapping out. The uh, dealer was kind enough to send me these, no problems. Uh, just had a couple minor issues. Actually, the bars, they just sent me without me even knowing. They actually shipped it out, and when I got it, it had a couple of marks on the bars, which actually didn't even bother me. I never even mentioned it because I knew I was going to be beating it pretty, I mean, you know, beating it up on the rides. But I'll just show you real quick. The deal, I guess in the shipping, they uh, have been marking up some of these bars a little bit. So they did have some scars on them. No big deal. But all of a sudden in the mail, I get a new set of bars that are mint. And they just wanted to swap them out under the warranty situation. So um, these are some heavy bars, I have to say. If you look at the how thick these, thick-walled these things are. And I've been trying to get some grip end protectors, so I've been trying to figure out more about the dimensions on this. I'll hopefully I'll I'll put them in the notes if you guys need them or you can ask me. I'm gonna dig dig into that. And the other thing I had an issue with was my little gas gauge. I even mentioned it in one of my first videos that when I was pushing the button up, you know, up here, it wasn't working when I wanted it to, and it was actually throwing out some weird figures. I think they've had some issues with this, but it's been pretty minor because it has done its job, just not quite as conveniently. They said there were some, like, adhesive issues down here making some bubbles on the screen. Now, this one seems to be, like, maybe slightly improved or whatever. Or I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. But what was happening is when I wanted to get my battery reading, I would hit the button and it wouldn't cooperate and give it to me. And then out of the blue, it would just display it, you know on its own and that was great so i knew where i was pretty much all the time but then i would hit it and it wouldn't work when i wanted to hit it so uh, it was just kind of wacky this one this is uh, your bar pad too you can see they're kind of soft rubber and this one's the one i'm going to take off and replace because it you know like i said it only works when it wants to and then this one is now really soft look how mushy that is now this is really much softer the material so it looks like they're taking some basic little kind of hour meter, uh, <laughs> what do you call it, battery life meter. And they're just like gluing it inside of this, you know, probably injected molded foam patty thing. And this one's a lot softer than this original one. So they're obviously, you know, still tweaking this, improving on this, I guess. But we'll see how it goes. And um, I just wanted to show you real quickly the bike without its cover on this cover right here fits over here and that comes off really easily it's quite convenient oh actually <laughs> duh. i had it on backwards you can see that one screw up front there that literally this one screw um a little uh allen head uh i should know the millimeter for you but i can't read it but uh you'll figure it out it's tiny or you know standard size so that comes off really easily and then um, the seat is also just one screw in the rear right here from below you come from below the same size allen head and the seat fits into that notch right there so the seat's just sliding onto this notch that you see right here and then that one single screw in the rear so that's a nice, it's a simple mechanism. It seems well engineered. I imagine this tail is not going to last me very long. I just have a feeling I'm going to flip it and snap that off. So it looks like I'll probably be getting familiar with this mounting mechanism. Uh, this thing needs a bath. I haven't washed it since I've owned it. I've only put a few hours on it. And uh, I'm just doing some minor repairs. Now, real quickly on that, what do you call it, battery life meter. It's quite simple. So taking off these plastic covers is super simple. And you can see the little lead. Get it in view here. The little lead. And that is literally just down in here. It's within reach. It goes through this little tiny wire harness. And I'm just going to thread it out of this wire harness, this little wire container thing that they put in there, tube. And I'll pop the new one in. And again, these were just zip ties. And they sent me the new zip ties. And they want these parts back to cover it under warranty with uh, electric motion. So that's just a quick note on that. And I just wanted to make one update comment on the battery charging. There's been some debate as to whether you part charge the, or plug the charger in first and then the bike. Or the bike in first and then the charger. 
I've been doing charger first and then the bike. Now, I don't think it matters in the end, someone told me, but I did try to get to the bottom of it. And people, I think the manual says one way and another video from electric motion, or at least an older electric motion, said a different way. But I don't think it matters. So I'm going to say go for it either way. Just, you know, plug in whatever you want and then go from there. I uh, hope that helps you guys a little bit and uh, take care.